Hey, this is Brian from Evolve Flex App showing a kickstand RDL. So I'm going to take a weight here just in one hand. Kickstand means I'm going to kick a leg back for support like a kickstand. Um, I'm going to actually start using a wall for stability. If your balance is kind of tough, recommend having a wall behind you and then we can move away from it as a progression. So I'm going to get my foot here. I'm going to come up on my big toe and I got the wall because I'm stabilizing my heel down there. That's just going to give me some some tactile feedback, give me some stability. Then my other leg is gonna come maybe about two, two and a half feet forward. I roughly want my shin vertical with a soft bend in the knee. I'm gonna hold this weight in the opposite hand of my front leg, so I'm loaded opposite here. Before I move, my natural tendency is to open my hips up a little bit. That's gonna make it hard for me to do a real hinge. And so I wanna get my hip bones square so that way my hips are going to be nice and parallel here. So I want my belt buckle facing forward. I don't want to be here and I want to keep that. You might feel as you do that, that your back glute has to engage, okay? So if I'm just hanging out here with no muscle activity, I'm going to be slightly open. So I want to create muscle activity so that way I am square to the camera here. And that's going to get my back leg in the game. Even though my front leg in a second is going to do all the work, the back leg shouldn't just be hanging out we want to be active on this back glute. Now I'm going to hold this weight in this hand. And then from here, the easy part is I'm just going to trace down the inseam of my pants here. So I'm just going to come right down the inseam until I feel a stretch in my hamstring, pause, and then come back up. I'm going to show that a few times, and I'm going to show you a couple notes. So when I come back up, I want to make sure I return to square. So I'm engaged here. Even as I drop down, most people are going to flare up as they come down. So I want to think about dropping this greater trochanter, my hip bone on this outside leg. I want to think, can I even drop that down to the floor a little bit? That's going to get some relative internal rotation here. So can I, can I get a little rotation down without just dropping my shoulder? So I want to keep my shoulder up and back. Can I get that from my hips and not from my thoracic spine? So hopefully you can feel the difference there. And you should feel this right square through the hamstring. So I'm gonna show from the side. So if I'm away from the wall, I'm gonna be just a little less stable. I want my feet to be you know, roughly hip width, if not a little narrower. I don't wanna be kicked out all the way here. I'm gonna come here. What you should see is that this hip, as I go down, is actually gonna travel slightly back and then up. And so I don't wanna do what I call tipping over the top which is just coming forward, because then most of the motion is coming through my back here. So I want to allow this hip to travel back slightly, but it's not traveling down very much. So my knee follows the hips, meaning I'm not coming here. So that's a mistake I, I see is that people get kind of crunched up where their back knee comes forward and then their front knee starts to drift forward. And so the knees stay pretty soft. They maybe bend just a touch but I'm feeling that right through here, and then I squeeze the glute to come up. So that's the kickstand RDL, the kickstand hinge. And then we would switch sides, work the other side. And again, same thing, I want to try and drop this down as my hips come back. Keep them up nice and square, shoulder back. Boom. Pause, feel that hamstring stretch and engagement. Squeeze the glute. Give that a shot. Let me know how it goes.